Hello world, welcome to the 72nd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my Python tkinter playlist, and today we're going to use the information we got from our Tweepy, uh, the last video in our Tweepy playlist. And so I'll leave a link in the description to my last Tweepy video, my Tweepy playlist, and my tkinter playlist. So we're going to jump straight into the code for this video. So make sure you've watched all of those so you can know what we're doing and how we got it. So um, we're going to use the info that we got and put it into our console. So we're almost at a point where we don't even have to log into Twitter. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So let's run this console test real quick. Okay, so this is now our console. So if you've been watching up to now, you can see that this uh, icon has changed. Now my name, my screen name, my following and followers amount is now on this. Okay, and so when we go to Twitter, you can see that this is my profile pic, my name, my screen name, following, and followers. All right, and then the cool part about this is this is scalable. So if we go into our Tweepy, our Twitter API, and we just switch out the API keys, and so I am pressing Control and backslash, which uncomments it out. Okay, now let's close that. And let's run it again. Okay, now we can see it switched to a, another Twitter account that I manage. I've kind of abandoned it. But this is my financial genome project website. And as you can see, the icon has changed, screen name, or the username, the screen name, followers, following and followers have changed also. So in a future video, we are going to have an option where we can select each of our um, Twitter accounts. So if we have a lot of Twitter accounts, then we could quickly go back and forth between them. Okay, so um, now let's look at the code real quick. So for this video, we had to import our newest function called get Twitter info. And again, watch my previous Tweepy video. It'll be a link in the description. We also had to import this library called Pillow. So you'll need to import image and image tkinter. And I'll show you why in a second. And in our last video, we were able to get the name, screen name, followers, following, and the profile image all from Twitter. All right, so you're just going to declare that right now. All right, so you're going to pass the name, screen name, followers, following, and say profile to your console. Okay, so watch my previous videos. I put the new video three so you can see which video to look for. All right, so tkinter does not like .jpg or .jpg files. So you have to import pillow so tkinter recognizes it. So your icon folder is going to be an image, capital I, dot .open, and this is called console icon .jpg. Now in my Tweepy, in our last video for Tweepy, we save that image called console icon .jpg. So since there's no path to it, that means it's going to search for it in our current path. And as you can see, console icon .jpg is right here. And it automatically pulls it from Twitter. So when we switch to my other Twitter account, you saw that it also switched. And then for it to work in tkinter, you're going to do icon or whatever variable you want equals image capital I capital TK dot photo image and then you pass it this 
the icon photo. Then you're going to do root dot icon photo false and then you pass it this one right here. So three step process. What is root? Root is what you need to pass here. In other tutorials you might see this called master equals TK or some put root. So that is how you pass a non icon uh, image to your tkinter icon. Now if you have a .ico like you built it on PowerPoint or Photoshop your own logo and the file extensions .ico then you just need to do this right here and pass it the icon. So it'll be console icon .ico. But since I'm using a JPEG you have to do this three step process. Okay. And so the next thing we did was we added our name text, our screen name text, the amount of followers, the amount of following that we have. All right, and how we did that was we created new labels, just like you've seen in previous videos, but you pass it the name, text equals name, the variable name. And where did that come from? Right here in the beginning where we did name, same with screen name. Right, so screen name, it's going to make a label and you're going to pass it the screen name. Okay. Now, followers, we had to make one adjustment. So this time, we're not going to pass just the um, variable. I wanted it to say following the amount, followers the amount. And how we did that was we passed it this text, followers, then we concatenate followers. But you have to make it a string. So when you get followers and following, these are integers. And that's pretty cool that you can have integers because then if you wanted to do a reports uh, tab, then you can always have these integers to do math on. But for our case, we're just going to pass a string because you have to have a string inside of a label or a text box or a button. All right, and then we had to play with the sides. Since we're using the dot pack method, you have to use top, bottom, left, or right. But we could also, if we wanted to, use a grid. So if we wanted to make this more of a grid, like in Excel, we could do that. So it takes quite a bit more code but as you get more of these, it gets harder to align everything that you want unless you're using a grid. Okay. So again, make sure you have watched my previous videos for this to make sense because I go through each one of these. All right, so that's pretty much it. So now our console. is personalized to what we want. It has all this information and it still has these functions right here. So boom, we just got the trending topics. We could unfollow people if we wanted to. And in the next video, we're going to start working on this follow people. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, and leave a comment and tell me where you saw this video. Did you YouTube search it? Are you from Reddit? Are you from Twitter? Either way, let me know. I like to connect to people who are watching my videos. Thanks. Goodbye, world.